gig. So you yourself are Boston native as well. Yes. So when this project came to, did you immediately want to be a part of it or how did you get involved? Actually, I was in New York working on, uh, actually working with Donnie Wahlberg, Mark's brother. And I got a call for an audition to come in, but they were in Los Angeles. Pete and Mark were in Los Angeles auditioning people. So I went in and met with casting. So I didn't actually know that they were making the film. Uh, but as soon as I heard about it, I thought, oh my God, I'm, I'm perfect for this. You know, I'm from Boston. I, you know, I, I'm fairly, physically, I'm pretty close to, to Governor Patrick. So I, uh, you know, I busted my ass on the audition and I went in and um, things, things went my way. After seeing the film and being a part of this project, was there any specific detail of the events that really just surprised you that you were not aware of before this film? A lot of them. I think that's one of the things the film really gets into. Like, I was not aware that they were going to New York. Um, I was not aware of the f how, how massive this gunfight was in Watertown. It, it was something that, um, I actually, when because when you read it on the on the page, it you know it doesn't give you the detail. When you see it on film, it's amazing. And that particular particular, you know, one on one battle with uh, Jeff Poligi was just was just like wow. And and then you see pictures and you see that's really true. He was standing here. The gun holes, the gun bullet holes behind him. I mean, it's just it's just remarkable what these individuals were able to do and overcome it. It's just that's what's so uplifting about the film.